Welcome to Wednesday's Thought for the Day. If you haven't already read today's Bible passages, you may like to at least read Acts 15, 1 to 6 now. The early church didn't just face challenges from outside. Some of its biggest ones were from within. Some who had joined the church may not have entirely appreciated all that Jesus wanted to do in them. They reckoned that those who followed Jesus should first and foremost be recognised as adherents to the Jewish faith, observing Jewish law, traditions and rites. In effect, they seem to have believed that Jesus' death and resurrection gave the opportunity for a new start as righteous Jews. Paul and Barnabas had so far seen enough of God's liberating power to recognise that he wanted to do something far bigger than just Judaism, bigger than the law, wider than the traditions. Paul realised that this is what God wanted to do all along. It's why he sent Jonah to Nineveh, why he shockingly blessed Gentiles so often. Didn't Jesus come to set us free from mere law and tradition? And remember how tight Paul had been before he was converted himself. If the traditionalists had their way, the way of Jesus would have sunk without trace as a sect within Judaism, and the door effectively closed to Gentiles. That's how crucial this chapter is for the spread of the gospel of Christ, and ultimately for us ever hearing the good news. We aren't privy to the full debate, and perhaps the ensuing division. I'm sure there were some heated debates. After all, at stake was the long-held cultural heritage on one side and the entire future spread of the gospel on the other. A prayer. Thank you, Father, for the gospel that set me free. Lead us through disagreements to truth. Amen. Peace be within you.